اولم یندروفی ملکوت سماوات و الارض ڈونٹ دے سوک لوک اینڈ کنٹمپلیٹ اینڈ اینڈ ٹرائی ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دی گورننس اف دس ہول یونیورس اف دی اف دی ہیونز اینڈ دی ارتھ و ما خلق الله من شيء اینڈ ار دے ناٹ کنٹمپلیٹنگ اینڈ تھنکنگ اوور واٹ ایور اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہیز کریٹڈ و ان عسا ان یکون قد اقترب اجلہم اینڈ اٹس جسٹ پوسیبل دیٹ دیر فکس ٹائم از ناؤ اپروچنگ دی پیریڈ اف ریسپائٹ is coming to an end it's just possible they shouldn't delay now they should make haste in accepting the truth and believing in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam maybe that their their respite period of respite is coming to an end and you know the hour the hour as-sa'a ajaluhum that might be very near fa bi ayyi hadith ba'dahu yu'minun so in what discourse after this book and muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and all these revelations are they going to believe if they have not believed up till now two third of the quran had been revealed because as i told you these are the last of the makki surahs and two third of quran is makki so at this this is the time you know they have listened to everything and if they are not believing in now this on what thing will they believe man yudlillahu fala hadiya lah whom soever allah has declared to have gone astray he has put a seal on it nobody you will find no person who can take him to guidance now fala hadiyala no person who can lead him to the right path wa yadaruhum fi tuyanihim ya'bahun and allah will leave them in their insolence and rebellion wandering blindly go now this the way you have selected the path that you have adopted go and and proceed Yes, Anuna Kanisa, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they are asking you, inquiring you about the doomsday. Ayana Mursaha, when will it come? That sa, that the ajal, you know, ajal of a person is the time of the death. Ajal of a nation or community is the time of respite that Allah grants to it before giving them the last punishment. And ajal of the whole world. is the doomsday so these are three ajal you know the plural of ajal yes aluna ka nisa now they are asking about that ajal of the whole world when will it the doomsday come qul inna ma'il muhaid da rabbi tell them the knowledge of doomsday is only with my lord la yujalli hal waqti illahu nobody is going to disclose it to uh, about its time but he only سکولت فی السماوات والارض ایٹ از لوڈڈ ان بلٹ ان دی ہیونز اینڈ دی ارتھ واٹ ڈز اٹ مین آئی ہیو دی ڈیتھ ود ان می مائی اون باڈی میٹابولزم از گوئنگ آن اینڈ یو نو اٹس لمٹس آر آلریڈی سیٹ سو ڈیتھ ڈزن کم ٹو می فرام آؤٹ سائڈ اٹ از ود ان می اٹس اونلی اپیئرز ایٹ اے ٹائم In the same way, in this creation, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has created for a fixed period. What does it mean? The death is inbuilt in this creation. Sakolat fis sabawate walaw. It is loaded or inbuilt in the in the heavens and the earth. La taati kum illa bakta. It will not come to you, but suddenly. Ya saluna ka kana ka hafiyu anha. They are asking you as if you are very much eagerly in search of it. قُلْ إِنَّمَا عِلْمُهَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَلَكِنْ أَكْثَرُ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُ Tell them the knowledge of this that doomsday is only with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but most of the people don't know it. قُلْ لَا أَبْلِكُ لِنَفْسِي دَفْحًا وَلَا ضَرَّا Say to them I don't have any power even for my own self for any benefit or any loss. I am also in the hands of my Lord, holy and solely. Love, leko. I don't have the power, or any good or harm, or to myself. Illa ma sha Allah, except that which Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala decides. Wala ukun to alam ul ghayb al astaksar to min al khayr. Had I known the ghayb, the unseen, I would have gathered and amassed much of the bounties and much of the wealth, everything. وَلَوْ كُنْتُ عَلَمُ الْغَيْبَ لَسْتَقْصَرْتُ مِنِ الْخَيْرِ وَمَا مَسَنِي السُّوءِ And no harm would have ever come to me 
ہیڈ آئی نون آل دی ان سین ان ان آئی لا نظیر و بشیر آئی ایم نتھنگ ایکسیپٹ اے بیئر آف گلیڈ ٹائڈنگس اینڈ اے وارنر لے قومی یو مین اون اینڈ دیٹ آلسو فار دوز ہو بلیو ہو ڈونٹ بلیو آئی ایم نتھنگ فار دیم ہو اللہ خلاق کو من نفس واحد تین وجال امین ہا گاؤ جہا دس آیا اپیئرڈ ان دی ویری بگننگ آف دی سیم یو ریورڈنگس خلقا بٹ ہیئر از ہو اللہ خلاق کو من نفس واحد It is he who created you from one being, one soul. And from that very species, he created for him a mate. So that he finds the repose and satisfaction in her. When he covers her, she has a, a load, but which is very light. In the very beginning, you know, the pregnancy is not felt neither by the woman nor it can be seen. It is not apparent. Hamalat, hamlan khafifan, famarrat bihi. She goes about with it unnoticed. Falamma asqalat. But when she grows heavy, da'awallah rabbahuma. Now both of them, the husband and the wife, they call upon Allah. Lain atayt ana salihan la nakunan na min al-shakirin. If you grant us this child, safe and sound and good, goodly child, goodly offspring, we shall be very thankful to you. We shall be from among the thankful and grateful people. فَلَمَّا أَتَاهُمَا صَالِحًا And when Allah gave that child to them, safe and sound in body, physique, جَعَلَا لَهُ شُرَكَا فِي مَا أَتَاهُمَا Now they are assigning about him gods. It's the grace from that goddess or it was from the grace and blessing of that god now they are attributing it to the, to the gods jala lahu shuraka fi ma atahuma fatal allah ma yushrikun much exalted is allah from all that they, they are associating ay yushrikun ma la yakhluqu shay'an wa hum yukhlaqun do they want to associate with him who don't create anything They are right, they are themselves created. And they don't have any power for them to help them. And they cannot help their own selves. How to help? What, what to, to speak of helping others? They can't help themselves. When Prophet himself is saying, I don't have any power even for myself. For any good thing or for any harm, you know, which might come to me. Allah, Yasha, Allah, it's all in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what to speak of others? وَلَا يَسْتَطِعُونَ لَهُمْ نَصْرًا وَلَا أَنفُسَهُمْ يَنْصُرُونَ وَإِن تَدْعُوهُمْ إِلَى الْهُدَىٰ لَا يَتَّبِعُوكُمْ سَوَاءٌ عَلَيْكُمْ أَدَعُتُمُوهُمْ أَمْ أَنْتُمْ سَعْبِتُونَ Now, O believers in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, these are the concluding remarks. O Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, If you go on calling them towards the right path, towards the guidance, they are not going to follow you. They have, they, they have already reached that point of no return. Because this is one of the last Makki surahs and we find in the first Madani surah. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا سَوَاؤُنْ عَلَيْهِمْ أَنْزَرْتَهُمْ أَمْ لَمْ تُنْزِرُمْ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ خَطَبَ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِهِمْ وَعَلَىٰ سَمْحِمْ وَعَلَىٰ بِشَاوَةٍ بِشَاوَةٍ This is actually not in the beginning. When you know 12 long years had passed, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had been preaching to them, conveying to them, reciting over them the ayat of Allah, ayat after ayat, surahs after surahs, for 12 long years. And they didn't pay any heed and they decided, although their hearts had testified that this is correct, although they couldn't meet the challenge. فَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِي رَبِّ مِمَّا نَزَّلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدِنَا فَاتُو بِسُورَةِ مِنْ مِسْلِي They could never meet the challenge. So actually they were self-defeated. But because of their arrogance, because of their positions, we are the chiefs. How can we obey him? Because the prophet, if you accept him as a prophet, you have to obey him. It was actually out of their arrogance, you know, that they denied. Now due to this, a seal has been put on their hearts. 
Now, oh Muslims, even if you go on trying to, to convert them to Islam and to call them to Islam, they are not going to hearken to you, to listen to you. Salaamun alaykum wa da'atu muhum amantum samitun. It's just equal to you whether you continue calling them to the right path or you remain silent. <laughs>